and it was a very surreal experience. And um, I actually really loved it. So I'm not directing anymore, just kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, but I am, uh, we, we are taking some steps to divvy up some of the responsibility because this is, this year has been a particularly um, stressful one, mostly because the space has not been functional. And as you can see, we're back to wah, wah. Our, this, these are our lights. The, the rental company came in yesterday and pulled all the stage lights again. So, um, but fear not, the... I mean, the rumor is that this summer it's going to be, not fixed, but actually a lot of it's going to be replaced. So we're getting some new stuff. Um, so that was the sound of Garrett slapping Carter's leg, which I hear at least 10 times a day, because they sit next to each other in choir, and they think it's the funniest thing ever. They, by they, I mean Garrett thinks it's funny. Carter doesn't. <laughs> Carter gets really annoyed. So then I'm usually like, Garrett! Anyway. <laughs> So, uh, but without any further ado, we're gonna get started with our awards. So these are some theater awards. We had theater awards when this auditorium opened. Uh, we started these awards in 2010, and we had them consistently uh, until COVID. So 2019 was the last year that we've had these, and um, we just decided it was time to bring them back. So these seniors have never been part of the theater awards as high schoolers because we have not had the opportunity to have them. Um, so they're back, and um, we plan on making sure they don't go away again. So uh, we also were gonna have them much earlier, but the original date of them was before we, ended, we even had Beauty and the Beast because the calendar got so messed up. So here we are, the Friday before Memorial Weekend. Um, but I was hoping to get these awards out before any open houses, and I think I succeeded. Cool. So, here we go. Our first award, so these are awards that Ken and I came up with a very long time ago. All right, so the first award is called the Dudley Do Right Award. So I'll just read to you what the awards mean, and I'll let you know who won it. And then whoever won it can come up, and if they want to say anything in the microphone, because theater kids like to talk in front of people, sometimes, you're welcome to. You can have a little acceptance speech. You can thank all the little people that got you here today, okay? So, or not, that's okay too. Uh, and then we'll call the seniors up and have some senior awards at the end. So, uh, the Dublin Do Right Award is presented to a performer who showed up in the nick of time, lent a hand, and or saved the day for a production. This year, your presence in the show did that. Without you, we literally could not have had a show. Thank you for being willing to share your talents with our audience. This person was very committed to everything that they did. They helped with the junior show. They helped with Godspell. They helped backstage in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, and um, we are very happy to present this award to Cheyenne Pipsfield. presented to a cast member whose size of her performance was not limited by the size of her part. You made the most out of every opportunity and demonstrated you are capable of great things. We cannot wait to see what you do next. This person participated in the um, competitive show, which was an ensemble piece. Uh, and everyone kind of had some parts in that, obviously, but they also, in Beauty and the Beast, didn't have a huge role, but every time this person was on stage, I think you would agree that uh, we could not take our eyes off of her for lots of reasons. Sydney Reuter, come get your award. Look at that outfit! <laughs> Thank you. 
Buddy, I love you the most. And I will miss you. Aww. Up until this year, Sydney's had lots of serious roles, but um, we, the, the, com the comedic timing that um, she possesses is second to none. So, uh, the next award is called the Moment in Time Award. The Moment in Time Award is given to a person or persons who gave us all the feels this year. Thanks to something you said or did, or both, we all had a moment, and it carried us through when times were tough. Sorry, this is making me cry. This is so dumb that this is making me emotional. I'm so sorry, because it's really goofy. <laughs> this year, our moment in time was you, and it's all about the schmutz, Garrett Wortley. <laughs> understand that, that's okay. We don't either. But um, you can ask any member of the competitive show cast this year. So we have two shows this year. A competitive show had a cast of 11 and a crew of four. So it was a much smaller production than our Beauty and the Beast, which had a cast of 106 and a crew of about 20. Um, but our competitive show, for those of you who don't know, um, went to states and received third place in the state this year. Four. That's right. So, um, a lot of you are familiar with Beauty and the Beast, but maybe weren't so familiar with, with Godspell. So, um, but I don't know if you can tell, but the kids who did Godspell are a little obsessed, and they're kind of mad that we're not doing it again. But they can get over it, they'll be okay. So, next. The Dynamic Duo Award is given to a pair of performers whose support of one another is evident, both on stage and off. Because of their friendship, their performances were elevated in ways that impressed us all. We're so glad to see such awesome relationships formed in our program. And we appreciate the camaraderie of the two of you demonstrate. So this award is going to two people who aren't... It's just been interesting because they kind of played opposite each other in weird ways this year. Um, and they're buds. So, uh, Carter and Clayton. Jesus and Judas! Carter and Clay were our Jesus and Judas in Godspell this year, and the Beast and Lumiere in uh, Beauty and the Beast. So they were kind of a duo twice over. So we could not resist giving them this award. And are you going to say anything? Oh my gosh, guys. It sticks in the mud. Congratulations. This is weird. Anyway, we're going to keep going. We're just going to roll right through these. Next, the Comeback Kid. In every group, there's a person whose success is inspiring, whose personal growth into a consummate performer was a joy to see. And in our group this year, that person is you. From the first day of auditions, when we weren't sure if you could sing, you have grown into a star. You are amazing in your roles, too. We can't wait to see what you do next. This person has worked really hard this year to improve on every level, has asked for extra help, is, has been super committed to uh, trying to better themselves in their craft, and um, has just really taken, taken theory, theater seriously. Scarlett Shetler. Come on. Oh, this is the Backstage Diva Award. I mean, we can be serious. We probably all kind of know who this is probably going to go to because this person has been like the stage manager since they were in fourth grade. But in every group, there's a person whose contributions are difficult to describe, but whose value is never in question. 
in our group, that person is you. We are a better group because you're here. Without you, we would not have been as stable or consistent. Ain't that the truth? You're the glue that holds us together, Audrey Fisher. Come up and get your award. When I was gone and somebody said, we don't know how to do the sound, somebody said, go ask Audrey. <laughs> and Audrey's a freshman. Audrey has taken it upon herself to learn how this place works inside and out. So looking forward to the next three years, kiddo. Congrats. Great. All right, this is the last of our regular awards, and then we're moving on to our senior awards. So, the Triple Threat. The Triple Threat Award is presented to a performer who is acting, singing, and dancing while the audience and set the bar for the rest of our cast. You shined in your parts and made our shows excellent because of your efforts. This person actually was not able to do Beauty and the Beast this year um, because not only does this person take their theater very seriously, but they take their academics very seriously, and they had to make a very difficult choice. And um, although they were sorely missed, um, their presence in the competitive show uh, was infectious and uh, commented on. Um, and frankly, last year was also commented on, but we didn't have awards at all last year um, because of their stage presence um, and their abilities on stage. So Aurora Rice, will you please come accept your award? I didn't get to do Beauty and the Beast, but especially, I don't know why my muscle spasms are happening, um, but especially seeing some of the seniors on stage, it was so nice to really get that surprise to see, stop spasming, um, to see some of my favorite people bring it when I didn't get to see the preparation for that. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to finish up with some seniors. I should have six seniors out there tonight. Seniors, can you come take the stage, please? <laughs> okay, there is six. I got really scared that I was miscounted. And... Come on up, guys, right over here. Seniors, seniors, seniors. Oh, my gosh, we're going to have a hole in our program next year. Look at these guys coming up here. Oh, my heart. So, the first thing I have for all the seniors is something that's kind of goofy. But, uh, I got you guys little books of Beauty and the Beast. And I signed them. And I want you to have them out of your open house so all your other theater nerd friends can also sign them for you, okay? So this can be a memento of your senior year. And for Kylie and Haley, I got you something a little different. It's a golden book, but it's called I Am Belle. <laughs> so, I thought those were cute. So I'm going to hand those out first to all my little kids. My little kids, oh my gosh. Some of these kids I started working with them in kindergarten. Ugh. Like this one standing next to me. I can't. Okay, so here's your little book. It has a little one for me in it. Yours doesn't. Yours says, what have you been right on my board that's been there for months? What does it say? Something you're, you're a butt face and you smell like that's <laughs> <laughs> It's just a little mess. It's not, it's not anything super. I couldn't, I, I couldn't write like how all the feelings I have right now. So, all right, our first award. This is called the Where Have You Been Award. One of these kids is not like the other, okay? One of these kids has not done quite as many shows as the other kids. I think that we probably know where this is going. This is given to a graduating senior whose 
first slash last performance. So in high school, this person had two, correct? Yes, Les Mis, and then Beauty and the Beast. But we were like, dude, where have you been? And why are you doing more shows? And uh, so, Elijah Steed, you are our Where Have You Been All Our Life Award. Congratulations. He denied me. He would not come to the microphone. All right. Next. <coughs> our Director's Choice Award. This one comes with a trophy. So, the Director's Choice Award is presented to a student whose on and off stage attitude and dedication makes everyone involved glad to be part of the show. You're an example to be emulated in the ways that you work hard, stay focused, and encourage others. Thank you for making this experience special for everyone. This student really came into their own during the competitive show last year. And when we had the teacher how to hold a cigarette, we thought, she is going places. <laughs> Haley Lockwood. This year we're changing things up a little bit. We have two drama queens, and are they ever? No, just kidding. Um, so the drama queen is presented to a senior whose sum total of theater performance throughout high school shows distinct evidence of commitment, growth, and enjoyment. We definitely saw all of these in you. You've always been dedicated to every show you've been in, regardless of your role. You've grown and improved in your performance craft from the first show until now. Oh, for some of you, that first show was so long ago. Ah, oh, finally, we can see it in your eyes when you take the stage that you love this. And that makes all the difference. It has been a pleasure to work with you. So our first Drama Queen Award goes to Gracie Phillips. If this has anything to do with attitude, that's not true. <laughs> That was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss that sass. Oh, I'm telling you, all week this week, Gracie, I would go to my door and I was like, Gracie's not there. Every morning, Gracie's sitting outside my door waiting for me because I, she always would beat me to the classroom. And I was like, it was really sad. 
I think my, my room's not going to be the same without you, Gracie. Our second Drama Queen Award goes to the cutest little sugar cube that ever was, Kylie Walkington. And that's saying a lot because my kid was a sugar cube with her. very big drama queen and I accept it. Also, I'm going to miss all of you guys so much. Thank you for like being my saving grace during high school. This was like my escape, so thanks to all of you. The Drama Queen Award isn't actually about being dramatic. It's about being the queen of drama. And you both are queens in my book. So we are getting a plaque, by the way, that will be out in the front to, that will list all of the drama kings and queens over the years. So your name will be commemorated in Lakewood High School. What? Nothing. I think my husband just said something like, dream on, but I'm going to do it. OK, next, we're on our final two awards. There are only two seniors left, so we probably figured it out. OK. So, um, our um, final awards are called the Seymour Award and the Audrey Award. Uh, the Audrey Award is first. It's named this in honor of the female lead role in the very first show that we've had on this stage, which was Little Shop of Horrors. <clears throat> so this award was first given to Sheridan Saunders in 2010. Um, this award is given to a female performer whose total high school theater performances have been excellent in a variety of challenging roles. Our Audrey each year reflects the best of the best among the females, and this year our Audrey is you. This person never missed an opportunity to be on stage. Not one. Um, and not only just here, but auditioned for shows elsewhere, um, helped with camps. Um, I mean, the, the list is endless. And, um, and then in, in the very last show, um, decided they didn't think they wanted to be on stage and they were going to be the student director. And then couldn't resist and ended up being in the show anyway um, and just has always given their all and we're very proud to present this award to Evelyn Chow. especially as my voice teacher, taking me out of a very unhealthy place in my voice to where it is today. And I want to thank her so much. All right, our last award. The Seymour is named in honor of the male leading role in that first stage show. Uh, the first Seymour Award went to Brandon Shapley 14 years ago. This award is given to the male performer whose total high school theater performances have been consistently excellent. He's such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So most of you probably know, um, but this guy is, is mine. I was there the day he was born. And I promised him that I wouldn't leave this program until after he graduated, and I'm still here. So uh, it's going to be really weird to not have my little butterfly, Benjamin. That's what Ben's, I'm telling you all that story when Ben was three. And he got asked what he wanted to be when he grew up. He said he wanted to be a butterfly. <laughs> well, you are a butterfly, Benjamin, but you also are also our Seymour Award winner this year. I'm really proud of you. Just 
kidding. All right, um, that's the end of our little award ceremony. I told you it'd be about a half hour. I'm a couple minutes over. I apologize. Thanks for coming, everybody. And um, and uh, oh, next year uh, in the fall, we will be performing a junior show. Um, the junior show is going to be the Wizard of Oz for K through eight. Our competitive show is, has to be a comedy next year, and it'll be a comedic play that is going to be chosen by anyone who's interested in coming and reading through some plays. We're going to put out some dates for the summer, and we're going to choose the play together. Um, and that process, we'll start, we'll start reading those plays this summer, and then we will start rehearsing probably actually towards the end of October, because now that we've got a taste for third place, we want, we want more. So we're going to work real hard this year. And uh, our spring show is The Little Mermaid. So, all right. It's the official announcement. There you go. OK. Well, before you leave, hug a senior. And uh, have, a great, have a great night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank <laughs> you.